Hello guys, welcome back to the Puzzle Colony playthrough. So let's take on Sim 4 and then finally we can move on with uh, the Vasa mission. Oh, it's a Blau naval mission. Wondering if we should start in a different uh, position to what I norm normally start. But no, I think uh, we still have uh, good strats. We'll just start here. And we'll dispatch off uh, the group at the beginning. Before moving on to those uh, jetpack freaks. Should have plenty of space to just uh, surround the enemy out here. It is night time so I wonder what effect it will have on our bazookas. Most mostly interested in how it will affect the splash damage since uh, we have absolutely crappy accuracy with the main shot anyway. the enemies have impact armor. Wonder what kind of damage we're looking at. Since I don't have a healer this time, the turret is probably going to go down, but who cares about that. Let's see if we can somehow salvage it. Everybody stand in line. Oh shit. Can I even stand in line here? Nice. Got the first shot in him. Yeah, <laughs> very little damage. Hmm. Slash damage is not spectacular. Does seem to help. Come on, get one of them at least. Well, pretty much missed all of the main shots in the bazooka, but caught him a splash damage. Very familiar story. But based on the last mission, Zukas can be pretty efficient. I guess it took so long to kill one of the Bessalers because uh, he has uh, fire armor. And since most of my damage is from uh, splash damage, which is fire type, I guess it makes sense. They would take very little damage from that.
Right, are we already positioned? Think so. Damn, man, haven't hit a single one. <laughs> Where the hell were you pointing it? Got, got, got the job done, so I guess I'm not gonna complain. That is, these guys will be taking uh, full splash damage. That's like 200 damage by itself. Yeah, look at that! Awesome! What am I complaining about bazookas? It's like, it's like, it, when the main shot actually lands, that's, that's, that's like bonus. Most of our damage is, uh, splash effect. And that is a significant amount of damage. It is at this stage. Nice! Oh, one of them is a fellow bazooka you got. These guys have been activated. Oh, I'm gonna hate fighting on the bridge. Yes, seriously, bazookas are incredibly e efficient. That splash damage cannot be underestimated. Especially since most of the enemies will won't have uh, fire armor. Look at that! Holy shit! We just we just killed all three of these guys this turn. With Bosch Storm still left. Damn. Six. 
Count me impressed. It's almost as if uh, the bazookas point purposely towards the ground. I mean, I don't know how a real world bazooka operates. But just based on these animations, it's like you, you purposely point the bazooka towards the ground. So that uh, it explodes at the enemy's speed and uh, the splash damage is where one HP remaining. Seriously, I'm loving it, and it's not as if the enemies have uh, don't don't have a lot of HP either. Sim 4. I think I'm uh, on par with where I'm supposed to be in terms of the story. But I'll wait for uh, the next story mission before making a concrete judgment about how good these bazookas are. Probably just like the sniper playthrough, I'm gonna face ammo shortages later on. Seems to be a theme with these long range weapons. Imagine uh, taking out a sensor unit this easily. Feel my excitement rising. <laughs> like I thought there was gonna be a freaking struggle with bazookas. Might actually turn out to be easier than uh, the sniper playthrough. Because uh, apparently because of all that sl splash damage we can easily take out the sensor units from long range. guys have slightly more HP. Never mind. So they get a massive amount of damage. I guess another thing that's puzzling me out is these skill chains. Like holy hell. Am I just getting lucky or what? Maybe I shouldn't have attacked at this angle. Uh-uh. Oh, we need 6 AP. Yeah, just like... Uh, just like using rifles, we need 6 AP. For bazooka shots. Of course that is later modified by AP bonus. But for the initial uh, but to initiate we still need six AP. Oh damn, that's awesome! Anybody anybody with Pierce armor is is just completely screwed. I 
and unbelievably so far, uh, both the turrets are still uh, alive. I like turrets. Maybe this one will go down, but uh, that that was that was not fun anyway. Even under normal circumstances, I won't be able to uh, prevent it. But at the start of the mission, we got both missile layers in consecutive turns. Uh, these guys are pretty much the only ones who could uh, damage uh, the closer turret. Alright, can we start firing on him? Ah, oh, not this time. So we're gonna spend some time moving towards the enemy. I keep marveling about the insane range of these turrets. Is there any chance he would survive? No, I don't think so. Yeah, he's down. Three units left, it's done 10. I should keep a note of... Uh... Nah, never mind. Since I've never done this before, I don't really have uh, any idea of... Uh... What would what be a low to count for a mission like this? But maybe I could just compare it one to one with a sniper blazer. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll keep a note on how many turns it took to remind sniper blazer versus how much it's gonna take. Of course, uh, I've gained so much more knowledge from my sniper playthrough, which I am utilizing for this one now. It's a bit unfair, but I think we'll find that uh, the Zookas are proving to be a lot more efficient. We'll see, we'll see by end game. What? Why can't you hit him? Oh well, whatever. Just stand there. I like this uh, L formation. Oh, turret might get that bazooka. Yup. And unlike using rifles, I don't have to constantly cry out for body shots. <laughs> the splash damage does a wonderful job. Now that it's morning, suddenly it started lagging. Hey! Well, he's down. That gives me a little more space to work with. I 
Actually, why not just go up close, right into his face? He's only a shotgunner with zero AP now. 85% from uh, right next to them. Yeah, whenever I do want accuracy, I'll just uh, go in melee range or as close to them as possible. But so far, not really need that much. Uh, I can't believe I, I would ever say this, but uh, yeah, splash. I'm just living off of splash damage right now. Alright, next up is gonna be first story mission for the Bazooka playthrough, and that I, I feel will be an asset test. Later, guys.